Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The old drugs have kicked in this morning. They're pretty, pretty strong. I don't take really any paracetamol or anything most of the time, but the panadine fought with the codeine, it just it knocks me for six a little bit, which is a good thing, it takes away the edge. My arm is still a bit painful. I did spill some water on the bed last night and out of shock, I tried to grab it with my left arm, which is in a cast and it all went fucking haywire and the pain was excruciating. It was almost like I rebroke the bone again. I tell you what, it was. so I've been in a bit of pain overnight. I haven't slept much again. As you can probably see, my eyes are fucked, and I'm just going to try and get through another shave. This is really these shaves are just to take my mind off things at the moment. It's you know, if I'd broken my leg, yes, I'd, but it would be worse because it's I love I can still play soccer knowing that my legs are fine. My leg might never have healed again, but at least if it was my leg, I can still play games, I can still do online gaming, I can still do things. When it's your arm, it's really debilitating. And it gives me a real appreciation for people that have got one arm, or no arms, and I mean, how the fuck do you play games? You probably don't. And I, I really enjoy playing games, that's my, really that takes me right out of reality, and takes me away from everything, takes me away from the world. It's not a great thing sometimes, it does take you away from everything else, including the world, including your family and stuff, but... When you're in a situation like this where normally you'd be playing soccer or you'd be at work or you'd be spending time with family, when they're at school, they're at work, you can't work, you can't do anything, it's a fucking nightmare. Excuse all the French expletives. I don't know why they call it French, but excuse all the expletives. Anyway, as you've seen from probably the name of the video and the picture, Arco, have I got that the right way? Yeah, I do. Arco shave stick. Now I've pushed a big hole on the bottom because with one hand it's very hard to sort of get in, it's burst and everything. The scent on it, a lot of people, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like the smell on it. It smells pretty much identical to Derby, I say Derby, but Derby soap and the green, they do it in a stick form and a tub as well, but it's either the green tub or the green stick. It smells pretty much identical. Do they shave different? I would say Arco's probably a little bit better soap, but I prefer the really strong scent of Derby. Derby, Derby. This one, however, does smell good to me. I, I enjoy the scent. The reason I really enjoy this scent is when I first smelled Derby, it brought me straight back to my childhood at my grandfather's house. It, it brought back so many memories, things that I'd forgotten. It just reignited things in my mind. I've got a terrible memory at the best of times, but to be able to bring up and reignite memories that I couldn't actually remember it was quite an amazing experience. And when I smell this to this day, it still brings those fresh memories back to me from sort of 20 odd years ago. Now, let's get stuck in. I'm gonna wet my face. As you can see, I've been in the freaking wars here. I can't wait. Cut my finger yesterday. <laughs> don't ask. No, seriously, don't ask. I cut my finger yesterday, so. Freaking plaster on there as well. I tell you what, trying to put a plaster on when you've got a munted arm and it's on the other hand, it's. Yeah, it, <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember who did the song, but things can only get better. In fact, I think it was Take That. That's the song I remember. It probably wasn't them that wrote it, but that's who I remember singing it. So here we go, let's just rub it all over the face. Now, one thing I am noticing. Is that most of the products that can actually assist you when you're in a bit of strife like this. I say strife because being a fully able-bodied person only, losing the use of a limb is very difficult. So in some ways this is quite hard work for me. I'm having to try and deal with this. And I've had a lot of lovely comments, a lot of sort of support from people as well, which has been nice. Look, at the end of the day, I'm not here for sympathy books. I'm very much one of those guys that when you make your bed, you lay in it, you know, I knew the risks. I've always known the risks of playing sports. Although I never thought I would see the day where I would get an injury just through sheer negligence of another player. You know, you see it all the time on TV, poor tackles and things and people getting broken legs and stuff because of it, but I never thought it would happen to me. And that was probably my downfall, but this was such a unneeded tackle, really. Right, the brush for today. 
is the wolf whiskers upside down. There we go, wolf whiskers. Or as Ken over at Ken's BSing and shaving would say, the Wolfman brush. <laughs> wolf whiskers brush. He even labelled it Wolfman brush on his video as well. I don't know what's happening with that guy at the moment. Now this is a 25mm ultra fan knot, one of my favourite knots. You can no longer get this knot from Wolf Whiskers, this exact knot at least. I'm very lucky, two of the knots I have from Wolf Whiskers, he no longer has those exact knots. And two of the best knots that he's ever used, or ever put, ever put in a brush. So I've just flicked most of the excess out, you can see it's sort of stuck together a bit. I should have showed you when it was dry, but you'll see that at the end whenever I've cleaned it out. So here we go, I put the soap all over my face, as I did yesterday with... Ogallala Bay Rum, Sweet Orange of Bay Rum. So this one here, the scent on it, it's a clean fresh scent to me. Some people say it smells like urinal blocks. If that smells like urinal blocks, the toilets I'm going in to smell fucking terrible. Because the urinal block, if it smelled like that, they would smell okay, I reckon. Now, I've got warm water in the sink. I've got absolutely zero prep again. I had a shower last night. So I'm just sort of painting what water I have in the brush onto the silt. I'm just going to dip the hole, well the tips at least, and do the same again. Now what you'll see here is because I put the soap onto my face, as I'm painting water in, it will become thicker and whiter. So as you can see that there. So in order to use my usual lathering technique, I have to paint the water in until it goes white and then paint beyond it until it goes translucent again. So as you can see it's going white again, it's getting quite white. So just dip the tips again paint it again. I mean things aren't as bad as it, as it may seem, I mean I do have income protection insurance. It does however have a 90 day waiting period. My wife and I are generally pretty good with our money anyway so we should be fine. But it's, it's going to be a struggle street for a while, no doubt about it. But it's not going to be easy. Just dip the tips again. So you can see now it's starting to go translucent again. So it started off as pretty much nothing on my face, not much soap. I painted water until it went white and almost you couldn't see through it. And now the more water I paint in, the more translucent it becomes. So I'm going to dip the brush once more. Just one more dip. Paint that little bit of water in. And you can see the brush doesn't look like it's got much happening in there. You can see the water dripping out actually. Let's see if I can flick some of that out. So what I'm going to do now is splay the brush. So you can see there it's all sort of painted together. Doesn't look like much is going to happen, but I can assure you when I splay this brush, it's going to explode. You can see how massive the splay is on this brush as well. Superb. Really is. Now the handle on this one has got a Becky top. This top part here is the Becky style handle. And the bottom part is Odyssey. And the colour, I think he named it... Green apples, I can't remember to be honest. Now, this is a tallow based soap. Doesn't have the best reputation, but it is cheap as chips. And it shaves an absolute treat. And as you can see, just from that lather technique, that's pretty much how I lather all my soaps when I'm using a synthetic. Not so much with a natural hairbrush, but with a synthetic. Let me look at this. I'm not adding any more water, I'm just allowing the brush and the amount of water I painted in to do its work. Now you can't tell me that that's not an incredible lather. 
Well, actually, no, you can because it might not be an incredible ladder for you, but it certainly is for me. So, what I'm going to do now is just start pulling the ladder from all over the place. Any good? I can really feel that nice thick layer actually taste too bad either. So there is the brush, absolutely caked chock-a-block. I'm going to try and hold this up a little bit longer because I find when I watch my videos back I don't quite hold that brush up there long enough to have a good look at the ladder and obviously you can see that beautiful handle there as well. Just stunning. I'm trying to keep the focus on here because I notice sometimes the focus picks up my head and doesn't pick up the brush and stuff or the razor and I've been noticing that if you watch Paul H films which I do, I've watched every, oh God, I've watched so many videos over the past two days, I tell you, I think I've pretty much exhausted all of my YouTube wet shaving channels of watching them. I haven't commented on anyone's videos really, maybe one or two I think, because it's quite difficult to do it with one hand and I've got, I've got an iPhone XS Max, so it's really big, it's awkward, I'm doing my best I can, um, but yeah, there's only so much I can do. But if you watch Paul H Films, sorry I'll just show you the razor, the razor is once again the car of Christopher Bradley razor, with the C plate, which is 0 0.85 blade gap, 0.85 of a millimetre. And I've got the second use on that Persona Platinum. Is it Platinum that I used yesterday? Yes, Persona Platinum. So I'm going to see how that feels. If I just dripped water down into this cast, surely not. No, I don't think so. It's all right. So I'm going to see how it feels second time around. I used it yesterday. The first pass was a bit rough. But I'm expecting this to be a lot smoother now. So here we go. So yeah, as I was saying, Paul H Films. Super smooth. Paul's an awesome bloke. Always does. Starts his video off with a homage to his wife. who does his flower arrangements or bouquets for the back of his video. So at the back of Paul H when you watch his videos, the bouquet of flowers is there. She makes some beautiful flower arrangements. She could certainly be a professional. I don't know whether she is or not. But I don't know if you guys have noticed recently. And if you watch this video, Paul, I know you watch every now and then, you get out there and you watch a video. I'm finding that your camera seems to zone in on the flowers at the back. It's like, what, those flowers are lovely. Fuck the shave. Let's just watch the flowers. And I find I'm constantly watching you in blur mode. I was going to comment today, but like I say, it was just, sometimes it's a bit too much effort, it feels like, to... to send a message at the moment and actually type things on my phone. Right, I'm finding, doing that little bit there, just stopping down about here, and just doing that little pick up, up well not pick up, but taking the razor roughly in the direction of the grain of my hair, doesn't really give me any feedback at all, I don't get any, it doesn't feel, it feels better, let me try and explain it, but it feels better than it does, than what I was doing previously. 
Right, Arco, residual slickness, excellent. Scent strength is off the charts, I mean it is really strong. If you don't like strong scented soaps, and certainly you don't like soaps which apparently smell like toilet block, then this isn't for you. But if you like a strong scented soap that's cheap as chips and shaves very well, you can't look past Arco. You'd be nuts if you did. It's certainly a soap for pretty much everyone's budget. If you if you can't afford this soap, then I think you're probably shaving with like a cheap hand soap because this is about as cheap as it gets. It lathers easy peasy. It's certainly protective. It ticks all the boxes, you know, really. The post shave feel on this one is pretty good as well. It's not as good as your top soaps. But it's good, you know, it's not a... I would never turn around and say it's a crap post shave feel. I'm feeling a little bit of irritation just right here where my finger's pointing. I don't know what it is. It actually feels like it's been overshaved, that's what it feels like. Yeah, it's definitely stinging, but I'm not getting any blood, which is a bit unusual. I'm going to empty the sink out now because it is chock a block full of lava in here. Well, not much here, I only shaved yesterday. Yeah, the residual slickness is excellent as you see now just glides over the skin. No issues at all. So dry my hand off again and let's apply third pass lather. Yeah I've got a little bit of irritation right on underneath my lip there. But as you can see there's no blood so I don't know what I've done. I was also umming and ahhing about upgrading my iPhone to the iPhone 11 Pro. At the moment, I've still got to wait until the 14th of October. As that's when my first year is up, I can then upgrade. It's normally $149 to upgrade if you do it every 12 months. Which at the moment, given that I'm not working now and I'm injured, that wouldn't have been possible. But for the same contract pretty much that I'm on, it's free upgrade at the moment up until the 25th of October. Slice myself here. I 
I've definitely got a few weepers happening. So yeah. The only difference will be I'll pay two dollars a month extra. Which I'm not a fussed about really, two bucks, that's nothing. So I may just upgrade. I do have a very, very small blemish on this screen. And what I'm doing, I'll just keep that water in just now. I just want to just tidy around my lips. I wasn't going to upgrade, and I think if the screen of my phone was still perfect, I wouldn't upgrade. But it, it does have a little bit of a chip on it, tiny chip, which I don't think will stop me from getting my upgrade because you have to give your old phone back in, which is fine. Now I can tell you straight away that the post shave is pretty, I, I'm saying it, was, it used to be pretty good, it's actually pretty average. I can feel it. Now, Ogallala, which I used yesterday, I walked away and didn't put any post shave on and it felt phenomenal. It really did. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit while I clean the brush up. I can already tell you right now my skin's dry. It feels like it needs nourishment. So it's going to need some, some work. I'm going to have to pop a little bit of post shave on, which will be Lubia's Revenge once again. Waste a lot more water as well. I'm just going to flip this in the shower. So I don't know whether you can see that or not, but this means that I still have to rinse the brush out. Can you see that? Oh, just that tiny little hole, just sort of south of the middle. A tiny little hole there. That tells me that I've still got a bit of silk in the base of the knot holding those fibres together. Now what I find is if you get all the soap out and you just flick the brush quite quite rigorously, quite quite hard. Let's see if I can just do it here without spraying water everywhere. pretty much see now that, that that hole is gone which tells me now that my brush is pretty much completely cleaned out quick flick on the towel give the handle a quick one two buckle my shoe why I'm doing this. Some are different. Yeah. 
There we are, beautiful. Let's just see that the whole scheme back just a little bit. But not enough to worry about it. It's it's hard enough doing it at the moment. As is. Right. So I'm going to finish off now with a little squirt of Blue Beard Revenge. Great thing about this, as I spoke about yesterday, it's a pump action bottle on the top, so I can use one hand and get it on there. Now, post shave, it feels okay. Look, it's not, it's not dreadful. It's not, you know, you could, you could certainly walk away from this like this, but my skin feels dry. It feels, feels a little bit irritated, and I can't put that down to the razor because I used it yesterday. It's a phenomenally smooth razor. The blades felt lovely. I can only put it down to the fact that the soap just isn't quite good enough in terms of its nourishing capabilities. So I'm going to pop a little bit of balm, just a tiny little bit like that first to see how that, that's enough. Just need just another tiny little bit for down here. Tell you what, Blue Beer's Revenge, it's mass produced. You know, I think it comes under a different name in America. So it's Blue Beer's Revenge in Australia. I think it's the same in the UK. I'm trying to think what it is over in, over in America, but it's pretty much the same packaging, just a different company name. But it's, the actual scent on it is exceptional. Do you know what? There is still soap in this brush and it's annoying me, so. Let's hope I can get it out this time. It's going to be a long video, sorry guys, and gals. I've got a little bit of irritation today, and do you know what, I think it's the soap to be honest. It's really dried my skin out quite a bit, and then obviously I've got a few little weepers. So on, that's for sure. Right, just give that a quick flick on there now. That's better. There you go, you can see the difference now. There's that little hole in the middle is completely gone now. Brilliant. It's a cracking knot, it looks really nice, especially in this handle, it just seems to match the size of the handle perfectly. So the soap for today was Arco Shave Stick. Really, I, I love the scent. Like I say, it brings back memories for me. It's not, a, it's not a sort of scent I would pick up in general and go, "Oh, I love that. It's brilliant." It's just a memory scent for me, and it, it brings back so many good memories that it makes the scent really, really nice for my nose, or my my mind at least. The Wolf Whiskers twenty five mil Ultra Fan. It's an absolutely stunning brush. Peter Wolf makes some of the best in the business, to be honest. Although. Turn and shave, craving shaving, dogwood, that darn rob, envy shave, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. They all make amazing brushes, they're all amazing artisans. And then you can also go along to your sort of yaki brushes as well, which for my money are probably the best of the Chinese market in terms of knot quality and brush quality. I think Uomo, Umo and DS Cosmetic are a little bit behind, but they are catching up rapidly. And I've noticed a lot of manufacturers now are starting to bring out gel tip knots, which look phenomenal. The Christopher Bradley stainless steel car razor C plate, second use Persona Platinum blade, really, really smooth and comfortable. I mean, I've got a few weepers here and there, but the shave itself overall was great. The post shave balm, which is Bluebeard Revenge, will certainly help with that. If you want to see the ingredients as well, it's not the cleanest set of ingredients, they are mass produced. I do like the fact that it's a, an aluminium bo bottle, so albeit the top's plastic, but they're trying. You know, there's companies out there now trying to help the environment in any way whatsoever that they can. Really, you look at a shaving brush like that, plastic, plastic fibres, plastic handle, not very eco-friendly, but it does have the potential to last an infinite number of years if you look after it. So it's a product that if you only had, had that one shaving brush and that was the only one you ever bought, you could potentially have that for the rest of your life. 
is that eco-friendly? I would say sort of it is, in, in its own sort of way. And it could pass down through the generations as well. And for what it is, I think it is something that's going to last that long and be used for that long has to have some sort of benefit to the planet, really. You're not using anything else. You're not purchasing or wasting anything else. So it's got to benefit in some sort of way. Not a great way, but it does, in my opinion. My opinion, before I get slammed. And that is me, done and dusted. Another shave done. Another day ready to be rocked and rolled with my one-armedness. Enjoyed that. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.